Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do my July TBR. So for the month of July, I am giving myself a pretty ambitious TBR if I may say, if I say so. I am really excited to read all of these books. Cross my fingers, look at them all done this month. And I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first four books I have on my TBR are all by the same author. So the first book I have here is The Mark of Athena. This is by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Heroes of Olympus series which follows Roman mythology. It's a spin-off of the Percy Jackson series um, which takes place about a year or two after the last book in the Percy Jackson series. I'm in the middle of reading this book right now. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm really excited to dive deeper into the series and see how it all wraps up in the end. So I have The Mark of Athena. Then along those same lines the next book I have is The House of Hades which is book four in the Heroes of Olympus series. And then the next book I have is The Blood of Olympus, which is the fifth and final book in the Heroes of Olympus series. So I'm really excited to see where the series goes, like I said. And the last book I have by Rick Riordan is the uh, book in the series I have read previously a few years ago, but never really got into the story. So I'm hoping now that I'm a little older and have read previous books by Rick Riordan, I will like it even more. And that book is the Red Pyramid. This is book one in the Can Chronicles trilogy by Rick Riordan. This is a series that follows Egyptian mythology, which I think is really, really cool. And once again, I have read this book previously before, quite a few years ago for high school. Couldn't really get into it at the time, so I'm going to give it another try and see how I think about it now. The next book I'm so, so excited to read because this I read the second book in this series last month. And absolutely loved it and I'm hoping that this third book is as good as the uh, first two in the series and that book if you guys haven't guessed already is The Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. This is the third book in the Akatar trilogy I believe and uh, this is a new adult fantasy series which I'm pretty sure most of you guys are familiar with. This follows Faye and I love the first two books so much. A Court of some Fury or Akamov was amazing when I read it last month and I'm really excited to dive into the third book. And the next few books were all sent to me for review by the authors, so thank you so much to all of these authors for sending me these books. The first book I have here is called Focusing Emptiness, which is by Michael P. Staples. This is a mythopoetic journey book that is a non-fiction story, but it has a mystery element to it, which I think is really, really cool. So I'm really excited to finally dive into this book. The next one I have, I read the first book in the series last month, really enjoyed it, and the, that sequel is called Infinity, and this is by Tabitha Lord. This is a young adult dystopian novel, or science fiction slash post-apocalyptic novel, and uh, if you guys haven't seen my June wrap-up, I will link it down below where you can hear more thoughts on the first book, because it's a little hard to explain. Uh, you don't necessarily have to read the first book in order to read this. You can read it separately, but I did read the first book, so I'm excited to dive into the second. The next book I have here was is called The 15th of June. This is by Brent Jones. This is a, I believe, new adult, maybe young adult, uh, mystery thriller novel, which I don't know much about, but I know it follows a main character who is in his late 20s. And he uh, has been struggling with alcoholism and antisocial behavior for a few years. And then his father gets sick and the mystery kind of takes off from there. That's pretty much what I am getting from the synopsis on the back. So I'm really excited to dive in and get into this book. I have heard really good things about this book and I'm really excited. <laughs> the next book I have here is called NSA and this is by Benny Nilon. I'm so sorry if I wish that last name. Uh, again, this is one, I believe it is a mystery, thriller, maybe literary fiction novel that I don't know much about. I'm assuming it follows something with the NSA, uh, which sounds really cool, and yeah. And the last review book I have here for my TPR this month is called Vital Spark, and this is by Leah Devlin. This is a, I believe, a young adult uh, fantasy novel that involves pirates, and that sounds really cool. I've never read a book involving pirates before, so I'm excited to dive into this book. And the next book, two books I have here on my TBR are for a uh, new book club that my friend Lisa over Books and Smiles started this past month. I'll have her channel linked down below as well as all the information for the book club you guys want to join. It's a really cool book club. It just started up and we read one thriller novel a month and then we read uh, a kind of group choice. So the first two books we were reading for this month, we read two books a month. The first one is called Lost Girls and this is by Marie DeStefano. 
and the other one is called the trophy child and this is by paula daly once again i believe both of these are mystery thriller novels i could be wrong i'm really excited and like i said i'll have all the information for that book club linked down below if you guys are interested in checking it out and then the last book i have on my tbr for this month isn't necessarily a book it's called how to write and sell your first novel and this is by oscar collier and francis bats layton so if you guys have been following my channel for probably about a year now you would know i am in the very beginning process of writing a book and i picked this up last month if you guys have seen my june book haul I'll have it linked down below uh, i picked this up in may and i'm really excited to dive into it because i'm always looking for good tips on how to better my writing skills and improve my writing so I can eventually hopefully publish my own novel sometime in the future. And that's all I'm going to have for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any links mentioned down below so I'll have my the links to Lisa's channel as well as the book club linked down below for you guys to check out. I'll also have all my social media linked down below if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or even my blog. They are all linked down below as usual and I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.